ladies, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to see you here. On today's video, I want to show you what do I eat in a week. And before we start, please take this as a disclaimer. I'm curious and awkward, as I just said. I'm definitely not a doctor or a nutritionist. So this video is made only for entertainment purposes. Oh, and just another note before we continue. I'm actually what you would call a pescatarian because I don't eat meat, I eat only fish and uh, dairy, but I was actually trying to avoid dairy in this particular week, as I told you, because it really makes me break out. I'm also an intuitive eater, or I guess that's how would you call someone who doesn't count calories. I just eat whatever I feel like, whenever I feel like doing it. If you enjoyed this video or you want to see more videos from London, tips or travel related content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit uh, 1K before my birthday on the 26th of March. It would be the biggest and most amazing present that you guys can make to me. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day one. And we are having breakfast at the moment and I'm having some oats with pear coffee and my water with lemon. And salt and pepper from last night. And that's pretty much what you will see on every single breakfast. So we can just kind of copy and paste it into every day. But I will still show you every single one of those days because I'm a basic girl that likes eating the same things every single day. How beautiful were these flowers? Welcome to my another random meal. So for lunch, I'll be having this quinoa with rice, corn, beans with some tomatoes. Yeah, I have some tomato sauce to finish and of course an onion. You guys, this is half an onion, but isn't it like huge? Literally, it's bigger than my face. You know, there are two types of people. The crazy ones like Ben, which well, eat first the quinoa with rice and after that the other side. Yeah, one thing at a time. And here is me. And in the afternoon, I had some of this mango. Let me introduce you to my daily routine is that every evening we go out with Ben and because there is literally nowhere that we can go to, we usually end up at the supermarket in the evening. Hi, everybody. Hi Ben, when there are sales and today we found this amazing sale, let me show you. First of all, we got all these 14 sandwiches that, okay, might seem a bit boring, but they, they are all these flavors and we have like prawn, ham and cheese and oh, uh, yeah, there is chicken, bacon and stuff. I will show you in a bit. This used to cost £6.75 and now it's just one pound. Isn't this like insane? We also got another one. Yellowfin tuna steak, same price. Yum, 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 yum. Welcome to our house where we watch one YouTube tutorial and then we feel like Master Chef. With beautiful tuna steaks. Yay, yum. Guys, have you ever had tuna steaks? Tuna steaks really taste like meat to me. Doesn't it also really, really look like meat? So since I haven't had it for a while, I kind of want to do a little taste test for you. Yeah, yeah, and here I try it, but can we just take a look at how funny is my hair here? I don't mind it. What do you mean? I love it. Instead, I think I will be having salad for now. Yeah, and Ben just took them all. I mean, maybe I still want some. I had a little bit just to have some protein, but yeah, definitely not my favorite meal. Good morning, people, and welcome to my day two. Today is Saturday, and I'm kind of thinking of having something different from bre for breakfast because I don't really want to have oats today. And here are my bananas. I really feel like I need to eat them. So I, made, I might make one of those pancakes where you mix eggs with bananas. But let me show you where you are. You're in the pantry that we need to refill because we have only like pasta, quinoa and bread. And, and if you're wondering why they're covered with icing sugar, it's because they don't look so pretty, but it's okay. Hi everybody, what a lovely morning. I like it. 
I so like it. I will have a couple of these, maybe like two or three. I don't know. Depends how do I feel. And of course, as always, as I told you, I have my pair in here. I feel like I didn't join the YouTube groups where they show you how to make everything perfect. Lunch time! Here we have linguini with tomatoes and mascarpone. Oh, linguini! Ah, si, sì, bellissima! Oh, ah, i, u. It looks a little bit bad because I was shooting a YouTube short, so it was actually I wasn't planning to have pasta, but we kind of needed it for the YouTube short. And tonight we are having a very famous dish in our house. It's called the World War II soup. Let me show you. Now we are in the process of making it. And that's kind of the name which Ben gave to it because it's literally like so basic and so cheap. But at the same time, I really love it in winter because it's full of veggies, but it's also kind of warm. The one here is the one Ben make, made for himself and it has potatoes, carrots, celery and uh, meat. I can't actually tell you what meat is mine and it has potatoes, carrots again, kale and also some red lentils. It's super super basic but also very nutritious. Here is our World War II soup because ever since we had lobster and all those things for New Year's Eve we're broke now so all we have is potatoes and carrots but we love it mm, it's actually good and I kind of like the kale and something that I never get is the fact that I always put red lentils and then they just disappear they vanish Ouch. Hello guys and welcome to day three. Today is Sunday and I'm so excited. Actually, I just finished doing some pilates here at home. Now I will have some water and after that we'll see you for breakfast. And guess what we have on the menu today for breakfast? Yes, you guessed right and this basic we have our pears again. One grapefruit and two oranges. I mean, we're kind of going to split this between me and Ben, so I don't know how much exactly of this I'm going to eat, but for sure one of the pears is, me, is for me and uh, some of the grapefruit. I kind of feel like having a lighter breakfast today. And the war in this house continues, so we continue having our soup from yesterday. We got these uh, sausages from the vegetarian butcher. They actually cost quite a lot because this packaging is only 160 grams and it costed like three, three pounds. pounds which is quite a lot I would say slightly better it's, it's a bit better than salt but like I can taste the same ingredients it's good mm. yeah and the consistency is kind of better mm. but at the same time it's not worth it I'm a big fan of uh, Linda McCartney or corn because prices are lower and like the taste is pretty much there. And of course this is not sponsored. If Linda McCartney would like to sponsor me, yeah, please contact me. Oh, I was about to forget to show you my soup. Not that it has changed since yesterday, but this is what I'm having. And I also had one of these. They're not vegan. What do you mean? They're not vegan. They're vegetarian? Yeah. I mean, it's the vegetarian, vegetarian butcher. Mind blow. Hello! And welcome to our Sunday special. We're having some delicious creamy risotto with mushrooms. And I'm so excited about it. And because it also has mascarpone. Yum, 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 so you went to a little bit. Just Cheers, cheers to that. that. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day four. It's Monday today. I'm not very excited. I'm a bit busy, and uh, I'm actually quite full from yesterday's fries. So yeah, I just want to have something lighter, and that's why I'm having this huge pomelo. If I ever manage to cut it properly.
Isn't it so pretty? It looks like a grapefruit, but it's not. It's way sweeter. Here is my sweet potato. Oh, it has such a good color. And I will also add this chickpeas, avocado, and tomatoes inside. And yeah, most probably that's gonna be my lunch. So hot, I can literally see the, f I was gonna say the fire. Fire. <laughs> the fire coming up, but the lava. Yeah. I, I, I can't speak properly, I'm so hungry. But here it is. Very healthy and wholesome. Finishing off with a tangerine and as usual, some dates. We this? got this egg custard tarts on sale. Like, How much was it? Um, on a huge sale. Before they were one pound and now they're 16 cents. So pennies. So now I will have half of this. And we have another salad. Yay. Yay, because we love our veggies. These are all the veggies I was talking about. So we have spinach, green beans, cauliflower, broccoli, cherry tomatoes, corn, and also some tuna. Yum. And I also had this sandwich with smoked salmon. Hello guys and welcome to day 5. It's uh, 8 a.m. and uh, yeah, I'm having breakfast even though I'm not very hungry because I need to go to the office today and I'm not very excited about it. I will try to like take a photo and show you what I ate for lunch but it's going to be a bit awkward. I'm having some oats and yeah, pretty much that's it. And look just how empty is the underground. It's like a dream to commute like that. And isn't this like the saddest lunch you have ever seen? I just like threw some things into my lunch box and that's it. Hello! And something which has been missing a lot from my diet recently and I'm so surprised are avocados! I mean, not that I'm eating this, but isn't this like a super cute cover? Can we take a moment to appreciate it? And here we have three avocados and we also have it with egg and with the homemade bread made by me made by ben and i thought that this egg would be like super satisfying to watch but for some reason it really wasn't and just for your reference i had a lot more avo with bread good morning guys and welcome to day six of what they eat in a week Guess what we have? I'm that boring. Here are our pears again and some other fruit. You guys, I'm so hungry. I feel like I could eat the world and that's why I made pasta and with tuna. And in Italian, it's actually called the pasta of the university student, let's say, because it's literally like taking different types of canned food and putting them all together. So we have the canned tomatoes, the canned tuna, and of course the pasta. So it's relatively cheap, but it's super good. Et voila. Let me surprise you today. We're having some sushi. I feel like today is some fish day, so I'm going to have some of this. Yum! We have the classic one with uh, salmon and tuna, then this one looks like that. Oh yeah, it's also with salmon and avocado. Oh my god, I already know this one is my favorite. Bon appetito to you as well, guys. And it's Thursday, which is... Uh, isn't it a good time already to have some wine? Yum! Oh, hello! I didn't see you in there and welcome to our last day! Maybe I will grab some milk and I will take you with me. And this is a quick oatmeal recipe. I just put my oats, kia seeds, flax seeds, here a bit of protein in this case, some water and that's it! But it's crazy, like the oats would look so, so much better. Oh my god, they were about to fall. Looks so, so much better when uh, 
there is the protein inside and something which I haven't been showing you is that I literally always always have coffee this is Vasi, the editor speaking. Yes, I know I showed you this already like five times, but coffee is quite important to me. Yeah, I'm addicted and I'm not proud of it. Also, I'm too funny. Why do I struggle to cut a pear? I mean, that's supposed to be quite easy. And for the first time this week, Ben is in charge of our lunch and uh, he made me this uh, Buddha bowl slash salad with kale, chickpeas, corn, mushrooms, um, mushroom. aubergine. That's quite nice. Yeah. Oh, and I also added some pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to have some of this salad and you as well. No, this is fine. This is not, that, no, fine. you're also getting some veggies. No, I don't want veggies. And welcome to our last dinner, guys. And I don't know why this has been the time of all the soup, so we're having another soup, which is not the best way to finish, but we also have some Yorkshire. Et voila! <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video and see you in my next one. Bye!